What is up everybody? It is Wick here. We're out thrifting, looking for some good deals inside of this box are some fake Legos. Not a good deal. $30.99. I don't know why they priced it like that. Usually you price things $29.99, not $30.99. It's almost like Greedwill just wants that extra dollar. Squeeze it out of their customers. But we are just looking on the shelves. We're trying to find some things to flip on eBay and Amazon, make some money. Here is an Erector set. Again, $30.99. Hopefully this isn't the new norm. But really when it comes down to it, it just depends on who's pricing that day. They should price it whatever they want. They might have priced it $300 if they thought it was worth that. That's why you got to go to Goodwill multiple times. Hopefully you get better pricers in your stores. We're looking on the shelves and I see this game and I don't know why it's there. It was empty, I think. We got some really bad looking fishing worms, fishing bait. Here is a Terranium heater. I put that in the card. I've actually already flipped that. I think I got about $20, $22 for that on eBay. So that was worth picking up. And the shelves are a little bit empty at this Goodwill. Usually it's packed full. We got some electronics. A lot of electronics here though are priced high. This Goodwill is pretty pricey. It's one of the more expensive Goodwills I go to. Down there we got one of those three crock pot things. I don't know what you call buffet type setup. Those are desirable. People want them. People will buy them. However, uh, every, anytime I see them at Goodwill, you know, they're always priced 60, 70, 80 bucks. I'm not going to try flipping it for that. We're at the next Goodwill now and we got a radio. It's missing like every knob up there. You can see, uh, I don't, I think it was a no name brand. So I just ended up leaving that. We got a Sony stream box up there i've sold those in the past it's been a few years but they sell pretty good on amazon that one does not they have went down in value there is a high eight video rewinder uh you never see those at least i don't i don't know if i've ever come across one of those i always find the vhs rewinders and they sell well so i assume that one would sell i don't know why i didn't put it in the cart <laughs> i just left it there uh, but i did buy it uh, it was two dollars ninety nine cents four dollars ninety nine cents i think uh, but we got a net gear. We got a VCR 599. I forget the brand on that. I decided I didn't want it. Uh, just, uh, more picky on, you know, what kind of electronics I pick up, especially VCR since they hardly ever work puzzles, games. We're just looking around trying to find anything sealed and I don't see much today. We're in the miscellaneous junk aisle. Never know what you're going to find in these aisles. There's a Monin faucet. However, open box. You know, I'm not going to mess with that. If it was brand new sealed, I would sell it on Amazon, make some money. I've sold some Moen faucets and faucets I've gotten at Goodwill. Sell them on Amazon, get that premium price. And we got, what was that? I can't see it. I couldn't see it in this preview footage. Not sure what it was. Bowls. <laughs> Some of this Tupperware stuff can be worth money. The vintage stuff, certain designs, you'd be surprised. So you got to keep your eye open. I'm not seeing much though. I want to take it slow and make sure everybody can see stuff. Point out some stuff that I might miss. Now here's some Epson photo paper. This is a great pickup. Uh, some of this stuff can be really good money. I've actually sold those as well. I bought four boxes of those. Sold them for a hundred bucks. So I think they're a $2.99 a piece, $3.99 a piece. So yeah, don't sleep on stuff like that. Don't sleep on aisles like this either. A lot of people rush to video games, electronics, appliances, clothing even, and they, they skip that crafty aisle with all, all the random stuff in there. Up there, I don't see it right away, but there's a Zojirushi bread maker. I ended up buying uh, some other small appliances. Digging in these baskets, again, you never know what you're going to find. It's always like Christmas digging in this stuff. That was just like a cheaper surround system. Bunch of cords and cables. Oh, we're not going to find anything in here. Oh, yes, we are. A Bose power supply. Yeah, always check the cables, check boxes like this because you know you find something. Some of these Bose cables, um, $100, uh, I've sold a Bose cable for. So that one's only like a $30 cable, but still for $2, it's worth picking up. Let me know in the comments if you dig through cables, if you sell and flip cables, and let me know your best cable flip. Uh, I'd like to know. 
Uh, what's this? This is something, data video box. Surprisingly, some of these are worth hundreds of dollars. I ended up putting it in the cart. Doesn't have a power supply. We got a Zojirushi bread maker, like I said. It's there, I promise. Got the, the Bose power supply and the Epson. Pretty good pickup haul in this Goodwill. So we're gonna move right along to the next Goodwill. Looking in the toys, trying to find those sealed and collectible stuff. I'm gonna go kind of slow here. Let me know if you see anything I missed. I'm always surprised on the stuff that people see and they point out to me. <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. Um, it puts the things in perspective that, you know, I've been doing this now for 10 years and there's just still all kinds of things that you can learn about. Knowledge is so important in reselling and doing this kind of stuff. Electronics, uh, nothing great. I did end up picking up a Magnavox DVD recorder here. No remote. There's a stapler, um, one of the like automatic ones. I don't know why. I don't remember if I looked it up. I know I meant to. Uh, it's strange because I've, I've sold a couple of those um, the vintage ones this year, so I know I meant to look it up. Here's a Guitar Hero, I believe it is. One of the newer ones. I thought this was going to be worth picking up. And it's a little beat up, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's worth picking up. I better check it. And you know what? It was rattling, so there's something broken in there. And honestly, they just weren't selling for much. Um, I thought the... Maybe it's not the one I'm thinking of, the, the newer set. I'm not too familiar with those. I pick them up. I sell quite a few Guitar Hero stuff. I just sold a game recently. Uh, Guitar Hero 5, I think it was, for 45 50 bucks. Here we have some figures. Again, this kind of stuff, I'm just... You know, I'm not well educated in, and I'm always trying to learn more about this stuff. So let me know in the comments if there's any great YouTube channels that focuses on this type of stuff. Glassware, figurines, and just that kind of stuff, because you know, it would be very beneficial for me to watch and learn more about that stuff. Here is a Sony 5-disc changer. $50. It's got the remote. Again, it's got some damage around it. I wanted to buy it because I could make a hundred dollars profit around a hundred dollars profit on Amazon selling it. It was a good rank, but uh, $50, you know, a lot of times this stuff doesn't work. You got to return it. You're taking a big risk selling it FBA. Things can get damaged. So you know what? At that price, I just decided to leave it. That's what I decided. And I'm going to have to live with it. Watching this video, I'm kind of like, why didn't I just buy that? That was a hundred dollars sitting there. Um, on Amazon. Now something like that from a Salvation Army or a thrift store where I couldn't return it, you know, there's no way I would spend $50 on that. At least Goodwill, our Goodwills in this area, they give you seven days to return stuff. So it's kind of worth it to, to buy stuff like that, take the chance. And what was that? Some sort of hiking cane, foldable cane, $15. Uh, we got a little Pioneer DVD player. I'm pretty sure I looked that up and wasn't worth it. Some of these Pioneer and different brands, they can make some high-end stuff, so you gotta be careful not to miss the DVD players. Uh, look like a cheap lotion thing or a body massager. I'm not sure what it was. Another cheap DVD player, a crown, and a sewing machine. Uh, I never find good sewing machines. I looked this up. It was clean. I wanted to buy it. There just wasn't enough money to be made. But I spot something here. I get really excited. I'm like, oh, could it be? Oh, no, it's Emerson. Sealed Emerson CD player. I was hoping it was the sealed Sony Discman. Two or $300 if it's a Sony. About a $30 one if it's Emerson. I still, we'll take it for eight bucks. We'll make some money on it. Walkie Talkies Vintage Radio Shack. These were look like to be new in box, so I did end up buying those as well. Uh, anything new like that, even vintage kind of you know, out of date things, they can still sell. Toy side, we're looking again for that great stuff. And I find the biggest bolo, a monster can, probably got disease all over it. But uh, dolls, American Girl, no, not American Girl, unfortunately. Just look at the tag, you can figure it out pretty quick. Over here, I see this water gun. 
And I'm like, oh, is that Super Soaker? No. Then I start thinking in my head while I'm doing this. I start thinking about how great it would be to find a Super Soaker 50 sealed. You know, those things are $200 plus. I bet one day I'll find one. And you know what? I kid you not, here in about 30 seconds, I find a sealed Super Soaker gun. It's not a Super Soaker 50, <laughs> but I do find one. So just crazy how that kind of stuff works sometimes. And there's another thing you're not going to believe me. I picked up, I picked up something at Salvation Army out of the glass case. Um, I have no video evidence of it. People are not going to believe me. It's in the hall part of the video. I will, I will show you then and you can <laughs> judge me, but uh, just an absolutely crazy pickup. I just didn't have time to turn on the camera. Uh, the person had to get it out of the case for me. I didn't want to be like, oh, hold on a second. Let me record this. But <laughs> uh, just an incredible price on these items. We're digging now in the dolls. Um, uh, threw her back really quick. I thought it was Monster High at first. Seems like I always see a Monster High. But there it is on my second pass through. I find that Super Soaker. Just crazy it was there after thinking about it. In my mind, it's, it's like just... I'm flipping out. I was like, I can't believe this was there. I was just thinking about this. Of course, I, again, I cannot prove that I was actually thinking about that. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Kind of check the plush. See if we can find anything vintage, anything rare. I don't see anything. I seem like I, I do miss a lot of plush. People point out I can make some money on. I always say, you know, they got to be worth my time. I'm not looking to make like five or $10 on a lot of plush. Uh, just not, you know, worth listing and dealing with. So you can see the shoes are pretty light. There's three pairs of men's shoes. Uh, women's, I'm looking around. You can see I, I also found a puzzle walking back through again. So on my way back out of that aisle, I found something else. It just it blows my mind how easy it is to miss stuff. I guess because I thrift so much, my mind just kind of gets bored with looking or something. I don't know what it is. Looking at these purses and bags, there's been some people say, hey, Wick, record some of the purses. I want to see if there's anything good at your thrift stores. Of course, I don't know much about purses. Here's something else I found uh, before I left. Some of those vintage Christmas cookie cutters. Put those in the cart. I'll do a lot on those. Make a little bit of money. We are at a thrift store, the last thrift store of the day. And we find a great find here as well. Up here, I see it. Radio Shack, another Radio Shack item, Chess Champion. These things are great. That's going to be about a $70, $80 sale. It's in absolutely mint condition. All the pieces are there. Exceptional find. What an exciting haul I got today. Some awesome stuff. Some really unbelievable pickups. Let's just start back here in the corner with a Zojirushi Breadmaker. A great brand to pick up. I mentioned earlier in the year at a rummage sale when I picked up a Zojirushi Boiler. There's a brand I never find. However, I found a few bread makers since then. Kind of crazy. It all happens at once. This one was $10. It's in good condition. Has all the parts that I would want. And since I've sold it before, I know I can sell it for about, I, th I think I sold it for $60, $70 plus shipping the last one. It's a good model. It moves. I'll make some profit. But I got a couple of these cameras and no one is going to believe me. Because I really can't prove I got them for the price that I did. You'll just have to take my word for it. These cameras, let's see, let's get these prices on here. This one was $65.99. This one was $99.99 at Salvation Army. These have been in the glass case for about a month. And I said, you know what? They're not even worth buying half off. Maybe if it gets to the 99 cent color, I'll buy them. Well, today they were 99 cents. So <laughs> I went ahead and I grabbed them. And what makes it even more crazy was they weren't even 99 cents. They were 50 cents because apparently it was half off a day and they took half off the 99 cents. So I got both of these after tax for a dollar five. I've mentioned this before with Salvation Army and these thrift stores. They should not price things this high. They should just price these, you know, 10, $15. I would have bought them at that price. Sure, this camera sells for $100 on eBay, but that's fully tested with returns. And, you know, there's no returns at Salvation Army. So you buy this, it doesn't work. You're out of $100. More of a niche product, these older cameras as well. Chances are someone coming in that's willing to take that risk is never going to happen. I've got a lot of shoes. They price $30 or $40. They just end up going to a dollar because no one buys them. No one wants them even at half off. So <laughs> advantage me, I guess. Now this camera, I should be able to sell between $100, $140. It's looking like so 
Um, it is a Canon AF 35 ML. And this one is a Canon Sure Shot. And there's a lot of different Sure Shot models. This one uh, is not that big of money, I don't think. But for 50 cents, I think I can sell it for $40, $50. I'll have to look at comps on that one. This one I'll be able to sell it for at least $100. So <laughs> pretty awesome to pick them up. What's strange is I usually go to Salvation Army earlier. And yesterday, the color change, it wasn't pink. So I don't know why it was pink today. I, I just don't understand what's going on with their color system half the time. It's just so random but i've been benefiting from it so i can't complain right next to the cameras we have this brand new sealed emerson cd player uh, but usually these lower end cd players sealed you can get at least 30 dollars for them on ebay sometimes up to 50 on amazon i've already checked amazon it's not on there something i'm going to price probably 30 dollars plus shipping uh i did pay eight dollars for it so it's going to be some profit underneath the cameras i just picked up this magnavox dvd recorder it's a model I've picked up in the past. I don't think I've ever picked it up with the remote, though. It never has the remote. For $5, um, it's worth selling on eBay. I could sell it for $40, $50. Probably sell it for like $40 plus shipping. I don't think I've ever come across a Video 8 Rewinder. VHS Rewinders all the time, and I figured, well, the VHS Rewinders are good. This one must be. Sure enough, it is. It's selling for about uh, $50, it looks like. Or maybe it was $40. I think it was more like $40. Uh, maybe between 40 and 50. Uh, it's tested and working. 4.99 is what I paid for. It is missing the little plate on the back that shows the model. But uh, looking at the pictures, it seems to be the exact one on eBay. Should be a decent amount of profit in it. For 99 cents, I picked up these brand new vintage Christmas cookie cutters. Three different packages here. Uh, one package I saw sold for about $10 new. You know, I'm probably just gonna price these about $20, $25. I got $3 into them. Christmas is coming up. We'll just move them like that. They're gonna be easy to list. Awesome find on this Epson photo paper. $3.99 a piece. I got four different ones here. Three of them are 50 packs. Uh, this one has a different picture, but it's the same thing. Uh, 125. The 50 packs look like they're selling for around $35, $40 on eBay. So for about $50 on Amazon. It's just that Epson's a restricted brand. Uh, so about $25 a piece profit, I think, on these. Well, maybe not the 25 pack. I don't know. I, I estimate about $80 profit in these. I'm just going to bundle them together. Looks like they'll probably all fit in a regional A box. So shipping shouldn't be that bad no matter where they go in the country because they are very heavy. Just happy to find them. So back here, we got a puzzle, Los Angeles 1988 puzzle. Not on Amazon, brand new sealed, but you know what? These kind of destination type puzzles do fairly well on eBay. You know, I paid $3.99 for it. I'm gonna price it $20 plus shipping. At some point, it's gonna sell. I think I sold like Florida and maybe Seattle or something like that in the past on eBay. Another amazing find down here, this Radio Shack Chess Champion Vintage Chess Set. $5.99 box and everything. Thing. As long as this thing is complete, it's selling for $70 plus shipping on eBay. Done very well with these electronic chess sets in the past. Another Radio Shack item, two different <laughs> Goodwills. Uh, Walkie talkies. I didn't think these were going to be worth picking up. I think they were $6.99. But I went ahead and cut the tape and looked inside and they look to be new. They're still wrapped in the plastic. Even the foam which usually what goes bad is still in great condition. So I'm going to sell these new open box. It looks like some pre-owned sold for $40. $45 if I remember right. I'll probably price these about $50 plus shipping and see if I can move them. This super soaker had me beyond excited. Another thing you're not going to believe just like the cameras. Uh, I saw something that looked like a super soaker and I just thought in my head wouldn't it be great to find a super soaker 50. Literally less than a minute later I find a brand new super soaker toy. Just crazy. Not a super soaker 50 unfortunately. Super soaker 50 is probably close to $200 uh, new like this. I didn't even look it up. I just threw it in the cart. Uh, knew I was buying it $3.99. Got the old Toys R Us sticker on there. However, eh, it's not really a great gun at all. In the end, I'm probably only going to make about $15 profit on it. I guess it's just not as memorable as a Super Soaker 50 was. Still, it's crazy. I just kind of wish that into existence. I also picked up this remote control micro blast car set. I believe this is vintage as well. Uh, maybe around year 2000 or so. Doesn't look like a popular toy, but I saw one, not this exact car, sell for about $25. So you know what? They'll ship first class. It's pretty light for $5. We'll make some money eventually. Just a puzzle pickup I'll sell on Amazon. This thousand piece chocolate puzzle. 
Look like I'll make about $15 profit on that. Saw this and knew to pick it up, especially at $1.99 Bose power cord. I should be able to sell this for about $30, no problem. Bose stuff always sells. I grabbed this sealed uh, under the tank heater for aquarium or terrarium, I guess. Uh, so this is for lizards and you know, it's not big money. It sells for about, I think it was $17 on eBay. Didn't check Amazon though. I guess I'll uh, throw up a different price if it's more on Amazon. It's light, it'll ship first class, you know, make a little bit of money. It's very easy to list. This thing, I really don't know how much I'm gonna get for it. Data, video, there's the model number. There's only one comp, one listed that I saw, and it was $80 for parts. What's interesting is some of this data video stuff goes for hundreds, um, upwards to $500 pre-owned for certain boxes. Before I started this video, I went upstairs and checked Terapeak on eBay. Um, one sold around last year for um, about $50 on auction with one bid. And it was missing the power cord like this one. I'm going to put a power cord with it. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead, I think, and price this 100 bucks plus shipping. We'll see if someone comes along and buys it. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. Some awesome stuff. No one's going to believe me that I got those cameras for 50 cents a piece. I remember the N64 stuff I got at Salvation Army. I even had it in my cart recording me pick it up and still there's a lot of people it's just like that's impossible there's no way you found that stuff this is fake i have one of the most realistic reselling channels on youtube at least i feel that way i know when i first started getting into this any youtube channels i watched like 10 years ago i was always skeptical so I'm always looking for like the down to earth real stuff and that's what I've tried to do with my channel. Plus, I use my YouTube videos as kind of like a diary, like a vlog. Something I can look back on years later and just see what I found. So I really appreciate everybody who does watch and comes along on this little journey with me. Before you go, if you could hit that like button for me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.